knit. I have a knit. Hi guys, I'm Chloe Zepp and this is my sister Amy and welcome back to my channel. We're just going to discuss a topic that's pretty close to home for both of us or has been in the past and that I'm sure a lot of you guys are dealing with at the moment or have dealt with before. So throughout the years um, of my teenage years, weight has been a massive like, what is it, like an interruption a, to everything. Yeah, just a big issue that we've both had to go through. I went through it first, me being older. Yeah. And then Chloe experienced some of the stuff that I experienced. Yeah, so Amy went through it first. We both went through a lot of binge eating and... I guess when you hit a stage when you become a teenager, you hit like, I guess it's around 14, your body starts to change, you start getting more curves, yeah. turning into more of a woman, and I kind of freaked out about it. I was like, oh my gosh, my body's changing, I'm putting on weight, my thighs are getting bigger, my bum's getting bigger, and, and then you just get bigger and you're like, Ugh, like, yeah, you go into full panic mode and you just... You try to control your weight so, so much. Yeah. And that becomes like your main sort of focus. And the more you focus on it, the worse it gets. Like it's a massive deal, especially for adolescents. I hit a stage in life where I was, I think mum and dad were breaking up and I was looking to control something in my life. And yeah. I didn't really like my body at the time. So I just started binge eating and that became a continuous cycle. I'd binge eat and then I'd compulsive exercise to try and um, burn off that big binge. binge and then the next day I'd try and starve myself because I was like I don't deserve to eat this morning I ate way too much last night and then that night again I'd just feed myself with and the bad part was like you'd wake up going I'm going to be really good today I'm not going to eat anything bad and you'd go through and be like I've been done really well like I haven't eaten that much and then at night time you'd be that hungry that you just go overboard and, and you, it just like a cycle. You can't even control it either. Like and it just, just, yeah, it happens over and over until, and you can't get rid of it by exercising. It's, it's hard to stop. Or, How did I stop it? I don't know. I think it was just a stage and like, and the thing is most girls turn to diet pills, which I know I did. And I went on some pretty heavy ones that obviously I didn't need to go on because I wasn't overly, like I wasn't obese or anything, but I felt like I was big myself. And... Like, I'm thinner and healthier than I ever have been not being on them. Yeah. Like, I think they just make it worse because you wait till over the place, you'll lose it, and then you'll gain a straight back. You gain double. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, diet pills are not the answer at And all. they affect your moods, and, like, we fought with mum a lot <laughs> through that time. Poor mum. <laughs> yeah, I think every girl goes through their own experience of it I and with social media these days you're mm. looking at the most amazing models and photoshop girls all the time and you're just like why can't i look like that yeah like we compare ourselves to others especially ones that we see you know on magazine covers or yep. you know social media and you know them people might not necessarily look as good as that in person or you know it's a lot of airbrushing and yeah no. The bringing in of the waist. Like, yeah. But more as a long term thing, like, oh, I've got to lose weight for this event. It's like, no, you want to lose weight so you get to your ideal weight or whatever to feel good about yourself. Exactly. Like, you're not doing it for something because that never lasts. Like, you want it to sort of look of it more long term than short term. Oh, yeah. I've found that I've lost a lot of weight by cutting out gluten. So, mm. I now eat gluten free bread and I don't usually have more than two slices a day. And I've also substituted full cream milk for almond milk or soy milk. And I've I found have Zimmel. Zimmel's really good. Yeah. I've found that I've just lost weight from doing that. It's easy to maintain because, like, eating, like, bread and, like, processed foods like that, like, it makes you fatigue to, like, yeah. it's not good for your body. And if you can avoid simple things like that, it'll change it for, like, you can just substitute free. it. You don't have to. Or your milk instead it. of having full cream milk, like have like Zimmel or something. Like they have like skim or you know full cream, but it's like a better sort of substitute. Yeah. Name something you like about yourself. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I like um probably my eyes and my legs. <laughs> I like um my nose. <laughs> I like my eyes. 
Your hair is nice. You have nice hair. Thanks. <laughs> now, think about Thanks. something that you like about yourself. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, Amy, hey. for being a part. No if way. you want to check out Amy's Instagram or anything, I'll link her Instagram down below. She'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. See ya.